Welcome back to Cave Blazers. Still trying to beat that final boss, dude. Secret final boss, dude. Still not having a whole lot of luck. And such a task, as you can see. It's also been a little while. Not too long, though. But it might be slightly rusty. Then again, the last time I played it, it didn't really play long enough to not be rusty anymore. Ground ring. Not most useful. Three hits, everything's gonna be dead anyways. Our good friend, Arrowhead Relic. It's been a while, I don't think I've really gone over what the relics do. Episodes recently. It's like if you watch this far, you probably know something. Maybe not, I don't know. Something to really talk about at least. Arrowhead Relic is double damage for me, and double damage for all the enemies. Base guy, deal double damage and take double damage. And I think it's called the Paragon Relic? I don't know. Make the bosses stronger, but they drop more loot, supposedly. The Twilight Relic is... It's just a giant wall of purple that comes from the ceiling. <laughs> Um, then the blackjack relic is this shop. There's no items in the regular caves, but this shop will always be between levels. So you can buy some cool stuff. Or maybe some not so cool stuff, depending on what's in the shop. Ooh, yes. The last one is... What is it called? Paragon Twilight Oblivion. Okay. The Oblivion Relic makes those purple guys show up. And also makes it so that all shadow weapons can spawn. Or be made on a shadow altar by combining either two melee or two ranged weapons. Hang in their game. There's the shadow altar right there up into the left of me. Is there any money up here? That's why I can't really get it. Way up top left of the chest. Yeah, that's all the relics and what they do. So if you have all of them active, and you make it to the fifth area a different fifth area. There's a secret new boss. Two of them actually. And yeah, that's what I'm trying to beat. <laughs> I 
seen boss. I made it there, but it killed me. Twice. I don't think I've ever made it back since. Maybe I made it back three times. Either way, I died all the times. I don't want to jinx it. So, this run is going pretty well. Majorly damaged. I'm pretty much at full health for the boss. It is a very easy boss, but with this arrowhead relic, pretty much anything could be the end of me. Especially a boss attack. I don't like this one. It's hard to tell when he's gonna start firing. I know that it's when he stops, he's gonna fire, but sometimes he's like really close to the ground. It's like it's gonna be hard to go under him when he's super close to the ground. Might be able to just kill him. So gonna fire? No. Ooh, Crimson Blade. So that's good, because it gives me health when I kill stuff. 9 to 11 plus 13, 11 to 13 plus 16. I'll go with this for now. I'm gonna use one of these. A bit more max health. I'm gonna heal myself up. Okay, I already get health on kills. Because of the vampire perk. Should probably explain that too. What is this, the first episode? Yeah, but maybe people didn't watch the first episode. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if nobody watched any of the episodes. Really, why would you? But enough self-deprecation. The vampire perk you lose one health every four seconds, but you gain two health for every enemy killed. And healing items no longer heal you. Or rather, they heal you for... It doesn't specify this, but I found this out. They heal, they heal you for minus 100% of what they would normally heal you for. So if you get something that increases how much they heal you by 25%, then they heal you for 25% of what they would normally do. Or rather, they heal you for minus 75% less. So that's a little interesting thing I noticed. So this perk. you. <laughs> okay. Made it to the next shop. I mean, another life is always good. Well, I like all these, so I'm just gonna buy all of them. Wish there was an ascending blessing. I love the double jump. <laughs> Guess I'll get a ruby band. I'd like to get 
Do I want to get another Titan Star? Could have a Super Titan Star. I feel like it's not maybe not worth it. Like it is really good against bosses. You know what? I've got the money. Might as well see what I can do. Well, I think the altar was last. So. Life leech bow. I don't know if it's worth equipping. Four to six plus ten. This is nine to eleven plus seventeen. I think I need the damage here. I'm gonna kill those little guys for some health. Every third hit on the boss gives me health. Oh, I just jumped right into that. Attack. That was risky, I definitely could have been killed. You coming over here? Oh, here it is again. I have died. Okay. 
Alright, so Blessing of Might over here. Very useful. Get stats for killing stuff. Blessing of Lightning. This one? No, not that one. That's when we get to shoot lightning. Oh no, yeah. It is the right blessing. Oh no, maybe that was the Tesla blessing. Don't kill me, please. I bet you. Gotta get some health. Gotta get some health time quick. Very, very fast. It's not a lot of time to react. You know? Okay, come on. Slow the guy, jump on here. Okay, he did. I missed. Someone's safe. Good stuff. Alright, I see a few things I like. I see a lot of things I like. Okay, this is good. Should probably ration my money a bit more. There's no good weapons. <laughs> There's just a bunch of good blessings. City and ring. I don't know. Can't get it anyways. Okay, let's get out of here. So, a lot of stuff there. Especially with 
the relic for double damage. Oh, that money must have it. Mine was run. gives me max health. That's great with the vampire perk. So now I can gain health and max health just by killing things. So my health is always just on the rise. Which is good news for me because I need as much health as I can get. And we've got Asgard again. Pogo attack does a lot of damage, but if you miss it, you'll probably get yourself hurt. If you don't finish him off, he's real close to the ground. Like that. Ow! Oh, I should have just gone for finishing him off. That hurt. Piercing blessing. Do I want that? I think I do. Okay, so I took a lot of damage there. Uh, Hopefully I can gain back my health. Should be able to gain back my lost health just by doing things. Instead, taking a bunch more damage. Good lord. Just hope that I can. Ooh. Now both of these I know give health. I don't know which one gives more. And I don't know if it'll tell me. Automatically steals life. Healing yourself. Okay. I'm gonna go with shadow. 
orb. I think this one will give me more health. Ooh, and that's magic charge. Lumber hatchet, hand cannon is kind of a meme, but could also pay great dividends. What is this one? Equip an additional magic item. Yes. Equip that additional magic item. And lumber hatchet, it's just more damage. <laughs> At the very least. Yeah, 14 to 16 plus 19. It's just way more. It's like, should I buy the I want to test it out. I hope this doesn't get me killed. Because I'll be real sad. It slows you down, but the damage is incredible. Definitely considering just switching back to the curve bow. So loss of speed is definitely getting to me. You have a lot of health and the damage, like you can't scoff at that damage. I will win. Uh, especially because this guy is so This is a whole load of baloney. Fuck, I'm gonna switch to the lumber hatch because I just need to damage this guy. Please, stop freaking out. of garbage. I hate this boss. Okay, that was my fault because the hand cannon slowed me down a ton. But I hate Death Ray. He sucks. The second phase is baloney. And this one right here where we spawn stuff, 
It's cowardice. <laughs> You're a coward, death rig, and I'm bad at your fight, which makes me salty. <laughs> <sighs> Another episode tucked away like this freaking skeleton. Yay, more failure. Anyways, that's the episode. Goodbye now. I don't know how to end stuff. Goodbye.